And good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Music for Gaming. All the gaming of those other streams, but none of the music. I hope you're having a fabulous day. This beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. It's uh, definitely a day to be beautiful on, and all of you are beautiful. So, you know, I hope uh, I hope you remember that. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and get started with some Minecraft. I'm going to be working on a little bookshop today. I'm also going to be working on a little hot chocolate, so that's going to be delicious and, and wonderful. So, yeah. But before I get into that, first I will switch scenes. Okay, wonderful, here we are. We had the scenes being switched. Um, I need to feed some rabbits here before I meander off. Because the rabbits, the rabbits, they'd be hungry. Well, hungry or not, I need more baby rabbits, so. So we'll just, uh, Try to breed up a few of those. Okay. Slide that way. Let the babies fall through. Back up we go. All right. And turn off the water. Okay. A little bit tedious, but I found that if I leave... This pushes a fence across. I find if I leave that fence there, um, it causes problems. Also... I feel like I should have gotten more rabbits than that. Just, uh... But maybe not. Maybe they're, uh... All tired and shagged out from a prolonged squall. I... I... Alright. Well, that's, that's fine. It's fine. I don't need it. See, I'm starting to build up rabbit hide. If and when the server updates to, uh... 1.17, I am going to corner the market on bundles. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It'll be, uh, it'll be fun. In the meantime, yes, aren't you cute? Okay, um, yeah, let's get back here. Sweet. Now... Let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah, I still have Hero of the Village. I went to uh, went to my raid farm so I could drop prices and buy some bookshelves. Because, hey, you know what? I'm going to be building a small bookshop. And for that, it, it'd be nice if I had some shelves, right? Now, this is going to be out here. And I haven't entirely decided where I want this to be. I think this is, I want this to be a, a little bit smaller shop, more of a boutique type. And the reason for that is that, let me zoom up here. So we're building a little village up here on the hill. We have this castle going in. And see, I've got all of this hill here that I'm going to be hollowing out. That I'm going to turn into a massive, uh, massive library of, of some sort underneath the castle. Okay, so that's going to be super cool. So I don't need like a gigantic bookstore over here, but I want a little, I said a little boutique. So I said it might, might be good right here. Though, in all honesty, maybe I'll slide it in here over by the bank. That might be good, too. Um, so I could put here, but that might be a little bit too small for what I'm wanting to do. I don't know what's going to go here, but that just seems a, a little small for that. Though, I don't know. I don't know. I'm... I'm making this up as I go along. That's kind of how that goes. Yeah, maybe I will put it here. I'll put it here. Congratulations, I have made a decision. You are here to witness it. It's it's a red letter day uh, because you never know when I'm actually gonna be able to make another decision. 
All right, so we'll put it here next to the flower shop. Yeah, so that'll be great. All right, now this is a little bit more regularly rectangular building than you know, like the hotel over there. Oh, I should show you this. So, so check this out. <clears throat> uh, aside from the fact I should probably pick up the shulker box, which is okay. Um, yeah. So on the the stream on Thursday. I came in here and was designing this room. I came in, I did put in the the map art. So this little computer desk is, uh, well, is a computer, right? So I've got this nice little room. And then uh, check this action out. This is the, the uh, I don't know, it's a smaller of the room, but it's the other bedroom. It's got the little smaller TV and the smaller fireplace, but because of that, it's got a little extra room for the bed, some nightstands. You know, I like this lamp. It's just a nice little design. All right. And, of course, the dressers and, and all that stuff. So, you know, it's a... I think it's a nice little little thing here. A little desk. You know. Yes, yeah, get back here. Kick on the TV. You know, it's great. Nice little place. So, Yeah. I did that. I, I did the bedrooms upstairs as well, but they look identical, so I don't need to I don't think I need to go show you show you all those. But yeah, so uh nice. Just a nice little little place, so Okay. I think that interior turned out pretty good anyway. All right, so let's get over here. And I think, I think this one's going to be a fairly standard stone brick. Yeah, a little standard stone brick job. Okay, stone brick and wood, not too dissimilar from the bank in some ways. Okay, so let's get over here. We'll grab some wood. And see what else we're going to need. First off, what do I have in the way of stone brick? Very little. Okay. Can't say I'm totally surprised by that, but... All right, so... Grab all of the stone brick. And let's see. What to do for the wood? One of these boxes has wood. I guess... Dark oak would be good, too. Um, I don't... Hmm. I think maybe I will go with the dark oak. Okay. Doesn't need to be... Super crazy, but... We'll, yeah. We'll go with some dark oak. And... Yeah. Oh, that gilded blackstone does not need to be there. I can go here with the rest of the gilded blackstone. And apparently my torches... Don't know why torches were there, but they were, in fact, there. Okay. Um, hang on, got to check something over here. Wow. Um, this is interesting. Uh, why aren't my captions being sent over to, to Twitch? That is interesting. I mean, it's capturing them, but, uh, output two, yeah, okay, huh, well, that's odd, okay, of course, that might just be that Twitch is being stupid, but, huh, let's, uh, double check, yeah, it's, definitely doing that thing it's just not coming up here on uh, twitch let me reload my viewer just to be sure <laughs> we bring you this distraction because uh i yeah oh yeah the captions are just definitely not showing up there for whatever reason ha huh. 
Well, that is really, really strange. Um, hmm. Okay, well, odd. Unfortunately, that's something I can't really test until I go live, so I guess, I guess I'm just going to take that off, turn off the captions tag, since, uh, oh, now they're there, perhaps, maybe, I don't know, I don't know if they're there or not, they, they seem to want to be there, I don't know. The whole thing is just silly and broken, but hopefully they show up. Um, if not, I don't know. Anyway, it's night. I should sleep, and then let's get start. Oh, I should sleep. I'm going to drop off this uh, shulker box, too, of all of the yellow things. <sighs> I might have to do a little something with some jungle wood, too, since I've got a lot of it. I don't know what, but maybe a little something. Anyway, let's go get started on this bookshop. Now, the there are a couple of advantages here to working with the uh, this regular rectangular shape. And one of them is that, hey, this is a rec regular rectangular shape. And so it's a little bit easier to do some of the basic Minecraftian things. I'm hoping that what I can do here is maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe do a little bit better decorating of a few parts of this. Okay, and I, I don't know exactly. But I'm certainly going to... Oops, that's a thing I did. Okay, cool. And I was watching a video... Oh, yesterday, I guess. By um, B00 of Hermitcraft fame. And he was sort of giving a little insight on some of the design process and... and how to do a few of the details and things like that. And so I'm hoping maybe I can apply what I've learned, assuming I have actually learned things. And we'll, you know, we'll see how this goes. I'm not 100% sure I actually have learned anything, just in general. I have obviously not learned to go pick up my shears so I can... Did I just drop them in the chest? That would be convenient, but no. <laughs> I didn't. They're, they're in my toolbox, but I didn't bother to uh, empty the toolbox, apparently. Or, well, no. I just don't want to bother getting out the toolbox. See, that's the phrase I'm looking for here. Oh, yeah. Apparently, there's a lake here. Forgot about that. I mean, it's... I might be able to do something with that. So that... Let's keep that lake in mind. Okay. And hope that maybe it does something fun and exciting. Just on its own, right? Lakes do that. They just suddenly become awesome. You know? I don't know. But as I'm looking at this... I'm looking at this and thinking, you know what? I could build up a little bit of an aquarium. Because that would be that would be kind of cool. Right? Because I've, I've got this lake here. And the lake is actually irrelevant to an aquarium. Doesn't matter. But if I were to build up a little aquarium here and make, make it visible both inside the, this little bookshop and out... And then as this path comes up towards whatever the statue is, it's going to be up there. Okay, my little really, really bad wool sculpture. This might, this might be interesting. Okay. So keeping that in mind, we'll, there will be an aquarium here. Okay. 
and it's probably not going to be that deep, but I kind of like the idea maybe of making it a little bit more of a fixture here in some way. I don't know if I want it to take up the entire... Well, yeah. Actually, taking up the entire wall isn't a bad thing. That'd be really cool. So just a little... little boutique, you know? Uh, this might be a little bit small, but, uh... To, to... I mean, it's right outside the restaurant, but... I could, rather than making it a... <clears throat> A bookshop, make it a little um, cafe, <clears throat> or you know, like a Starbucks. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll make it a a little thing that's got you know, got some books, got a little <clears throat> little maybe a little outdoor patio area, something like that. That might be fun. I don't want this to be particularly large. Because, well, it's okay if it blocks this view a little bit. It can't block the view from the second floor. All right, because that's... That, that view needs to remain pretty well unobstructed. All right, so I think... All right, so let's... I'm just going to go ahead and do this... Fairly typical uh, Dealy Bobby of a job. Let's do... Hmm. Figure out where the door is. Maybe I will just put the door there. I mean, it's The fact that it's kind of basic doesn't change the fact that it works. Okay, that that's really an important consideration. Does it work? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. In fact, what I might do here, that might be interesting. If I, oh, what if I don't put the door there? What if I put it over here and I can put, well, I need to do some landscaping here to make this staircase look a little bit better. So I won't really have a lot of room here. Okay, so maybe what I was thinking is what if I put the door here and put the little patio seating area here but I don't think that's gonna work um, I could put some right here heck I could put the a little picnic table or something here but I'm thinking this really needs to become something more along the lines of a uh, little garden yeah, you know, some custom trees or something here. I, I, I'm bad at custom trees, but we'll we'll go with that. Something along those lines. Okay, but we'll. This is all pretty floral landscaping stuff. So hopefully, figure out how that all works. At least that's the plan. <clears throat> Okay, so we got the little flower shop. I was also thinking I might come in here and maybe place a few more barrels in some places around here. Maybe we place some of these shelves. Or as the sides here, the shelves. And the part of the reasoning for that is I thought what I might do is actually set that up to sell flowers. Now, I have a flower forest nearby. It's actually where my rabbits are. <clears throat> and it would be really cool to actually set up a, a flower farm. Excuse me. Now, we've got a good flower shop in, in the Nerdy Village. Uh, there's no Nerdy City. There's no reason for me to sell flowers here, other than the fact I could sell flowers here. You know, just as a, just as a thing. And that's the, <clears throat> the same thing with this uh, little bookshop here, is that maybe what I could do is I could sell a, a couple of different types of books. Small supply, you know. All right. Well, let's continue this. Now, what I can do, 
and this is it's a possibility just in general but what I could do as well is take this um, take this shop and I can dig into this hill I can actually dig into it quite a bit because there's not a lot behind here so as I if I build this hill up just to come down this way hide this ugliness with the stairs yeah then I could drive this uh, so the building is here we've got the an aquarium coming around on this side and I could dig into that hill and to put in uh, some other things in fact what if I were to make this a three-sided aquarium so you come in this way right so you see it here but there's gonna be books and stuff this way there, there'll be an outside view here. Kind of like this idea. Or just, just a little bit as you come up the a path that leads up to to the statue. And then I could then run another path back to a full aquarium wall over there. That and I oh that would be really cool. So I could open this up, put a lot of the books, the bookshop there, and have this front area be sort of a little cafe. All right. That's an interesting option. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. I, I like this idea. So the first thing to do is sleep. And then we'll get the, we'll get the building done, and then we'll see how it goes for the rest of it. All right, so now what I want to do is this building is really square. So let's let's do this. Let's take this out. Um, okay. Let's take this out. And what I want to do is let's move, move the entrance. The entrance is actually going to be here going to be a single door. Now, I, I could replace some of this with, uh, oh, I don't know. I could do glass blocks or some other things, but let's start, start there. And then I need, I need some stone wall. So let's see what I've got. Hmm. All right. It's an interesting thought. Oh, not stone. Andesite. Andesite. So let's grab some andesite and drop it here on the stone cutter. And let's grab some andesite wall. I think this is going to give it a little bit better texture. Um, I should also think about maybe throwing some andesite in the rest of these. But okay, torch was in the way. Don't you hate it when your torch is in the way? You know, you just okay. So we'll let that go there, and then I. So what I'll, what I can do is then. I'll extend the roof out over this a little bit. Okay, all right. So that'll be good. Okay, put a little window in there. All right. So yeah, something coming across this way, and I don't need it to be super huge let's go ahead and I'm gonna take out some of this and let's bring this out as sort of a I don't know maybe a, like a little I don't know a little little something okay uh, maybe sort of a bay window type okay so it, it'll sort of come out Kind of this way, but I actually like the idea of this being kind of mostly glass. So let, I'm going to put out some some walls here. Okay. All right. So th this will this will be the shape of it. Okay. I can put some 
glass blocks in here. Maybe some some panes there. And then I could put just a little little seating area right here. All right, now that's let's make this just one block wider. Why? Because it's odd. And I and I mean that in a numerical sense. That seems odd. Yes, yes it does. Uh, because if I put a table and chairs right here, right? All right, so I come in here, we'll drop a, a table, right? Put some chairs in. This table will be centered in this three block wide thing, okay? S seem reasonable? Sure it does. Okay, so that's going to come up this way. This will go up this way. Um, yeah, so we'll get that. That kind of deal. Okay, so now what? Hmm. The end of my hot chocolate. This is a sad time. At least I can celebrate the fact that I had hot chocolate. And, uh, yes. And that, that is a good thing. Any day that starts with hot chocolate is probably better than days that don't. Okay, I, at least for me. I mean, some people, you, you've got to start with a Dr. Pepper. Other people, they really need that, that shot of coffee or something. But for me, hot chocolate is definitely the way to go. Of course, water rules pretty well too. So, you know, you make do with what you got. All right, so we'll set that in there. Um, <sighs> Roofing all of this is going to be fun, but not too bad. In fact, okay, so I've got an idea for, for the roof, so I'll worry about that, especially since I'm going to be bringing an aquarium through here. So let's see what this is going to look like. Go ahead and take that out. And the aquarium... It's going to be something along, well, obviously it's going to come through here. All right. And, you know, it's a little wet there. That's okay. You know, that, that happens in aquariums. They tend to have water, uh, which an aquarium without water tends to be bad for the fish. Okay. Um, I highly recommend if you are keeping fish, uh, you do keep them in water. Unless they are of the stick variety, in that case, you can just leave them in the freezer for easy snacking later. Okay? Okay. We got... I thought, see, these are, these are important recommendations that I think we should all keep in mind. Uh, you know, live fish, water. Fish sticks, freezer. Okay? Cool. Okay, so on that note... Uh, now, let's see, how far out do I want this to go? So I'm going to have a trail that comes this way. Now, obviously, I'm not tied to any of that. That can all go away as I need it to. But I do, do need a little bit of a trail. And I think that that path is going to be sort of the same brick path that I've got over here, right? So over here in the garden, in this little park here, uh, well, an air aquarium for dried fish. I, I guess that's true. I guess that's true, Johnny. Also, welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope things have been going well. Um, anyway, yeah, so if I take this red, red path over here up to you know, whatever statue ends up going up that way, I need a little bit of room for that. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so, you know, there are exceptions to every rule, I guess. Yeah, that's... All right, so we'll need some, some glass coming across this way. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and run this uh, some stone here. I'm going to do a floor-to-ceiling aquarium like this, so... Okay, it'll be lovely. I don't know what I'm going to put... Well, fish, yes, that's what's going to go in the aquarium. I just don't know if I want to go try to get some tropical fish or um, just grab some sea turtles or what, but something. 
Okay, so, so if I've got a trail coming this way, it can't go too much further out than, say, oh, oh, actually, maybe, what about here, maybe? Even that's a little close. Ah, man, oh, man, oh, man, okay. All right, so, so I've got enough room for, for the trail, so that's not going to be super huge. And actually, that'll probably be glass there. Well, no. No, I'll, I'll make that stone. This one won't be floor-to-ceiling glass. That side will be. And I'm going to open it up so it'll be floor-to-ceiling on the other side. And I think I've got some ideas for a couple of fun decorative things that uh, might be sort of interesting. So, so I'm just going to come in here with the stone bricks for a minute. And let's just figure out where things are going to be. I mean, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think that'll go that way. Um, and then I think I'll, I'll cut into the hill... Actually, that might just just be about the right uh, spot, actually. If I run this this way... Okay, I'll open this up. I have to go light up my beacon again. Okay, so if this digs through something along there... Okay, gotta jump out of that. Yeah, that might be good. So I'll... I'll open up that hill that way. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be good. So what I'll what I can do is so I'll run a little bit of a sort of a, a little peaked roof coming this way. Again, I I don't want it to be too high because I don't want it to block the view from the second floor of the bouncy llama. Because, you know. That's part of the reason this exists, right? You, you come in the come in here, grab yourself a nice drink. If you want to come upstairs, which I need to finish all of that stuff, right? You sit here, watch the sunset. You got your your family dining up here, and you can look out over the the town and this little shopping area, right? So yeah, I need to be sure that this. When, as this building gets built up, <clears throat> it doesn't block this view very much. Okay, that's that's the idea anyway. Meanwhile, the llamas just bounce here for eternity. It is their lot in life. All right, great. Well, since I'm right here, grab a quick nap and then let's go head back out. So I think. Yeah, set this up, but, and what I can do is then is I'll, I'll dig into the hill, the bookshop will go on that side of things. Okay. Ha-ha! Get my haste beacon turned on. It'll make cleaning out this hill a lot easier. Okay, but then I'll, so I'll be able to set up, have the little, little, shop here. In fact, what I can do is block this off. Okay. This side will not have windows. Because I'll put the little the little sales desk right here and maybe going into the the cliff side here. Just a touch. Do I have my hammer? I do. I like it when I have my tools. I, I feel better about life when I've got my tools. Okay. Oh, look. It's the redstone for the bouncy llama. All right, well, that's uh, something to be aware of. Cool. All right, so take out some of this. So what I could do, actually, I might, maybe I could take advantage of this. That'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. Let's go ahead and take, take some of this out. Now, I wasn't expecting to use any of this space, which is why I didn't care what the redstone was doing. Oh, and look, this is my... Oh, that's not the llama. That's my Shulkra motor. Okay. 
Okay, and then this comes back here into my storage system. So, I'm gonna... Okay, so I've got some, some limitations I was not 100% aware of a moment ago. Fair. I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that. Okay, cool. Don't know how I'm going to deal with that, but I can. <laughs> In fact, what, what I could do is I could fall in this little hole here. Okay, so that's my... That's my stone generator. Okay, so what if I were to do something really smart? It would be the first time, okay, doing something really smart. But every once in a while, those types of things happen. And yes, what if I come through on the other side of the, the stone generator? Um... <laughs> Let's see, what is on the other side? Oh, hmm. this could be a problem. My own decor has thwarted me. Okay, there's that. Well, we'll be a fountain. I just haven't finished that because I don't know what this is all going to look like. Hey, hey Wolf, and yes, you sneak in rather than a, using a creeper to announce yourself. That's it. <laughs> How's it going, man? Okay, so let's see. I think... Oh, this might actually work out really well. Okay, we're coming this way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> there it is. There's the creeper. <laughs> and thank you so much for those bits, Wolven. <laughs> you are awesome and as amazing as always. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's switch to the hammer. Now, how f I don't know quite how far I've got to go here, so maybe I won't use the hammer. I want to be sure I don't accidentally open up my uh, um, my stone generator and pour lava all over the rest of this thing here. That would be bad. Okay. So there we are. There's the stone generator. Cool. All right. So we go not that way. All right. Cool. So that's something to be aware of. Okay. Cool. Just going to drop some of this nonsense off. Okay. Yes, yes, all of the sense that is none. Okay, cool. So, yeah. So if I've got the, the an aquarium coming in here, I could slap a little walkway here. I, I can pull out this wall and decorate it. I just can't go beyond that. That is okay. Okay, so, and I can do some stuff here as well. Just need to, just need to be careful of what's, you know, visible back this way. This is the, look, it's the backside of a fountain. I think they still use that joke on the Jungle Cruise, cruise ride at Disneyland. Oh, look, it's the backside of water. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, if I come in this way. Okay, and just clean out some of this. Now, I suppose what I could do is try to rearrange the circuitry of my my shulker on motor. But there really isn't a lot of other way it can go, so it may just have to stay there, which is fine. I can deal with that. I can totally deal with that. Okay, and now I'm going to have to uh, shut this haste beacon up because now it's an inconvenience. Uh, was that this one? Yeah. Uh, standing on it. There we go. All right, cool. 
Okay, so that beacon is off. So now I'm not going to be uh, accidentally killing myself with, uh, or tearing out all the stuff I had built because of things. All right, so that's going to just sit there and click away. All right, so I'm going to need wall coming this way. And I can go wall here. All right, so, so now then this gets into my storage. So I could push that way a little bit if I chose. I don't think I'm going to choose to do that. I think I'm going to go ahead and just run run the wall back to here. Oh, nice. Nice. I was like a, I was excited to see where your your castle is going. Okay, so let's see. Let's see now. So that'll come in that way. Yes, yeah, the other thing that's hanging out in my uh my Minecraft channel is a, a picture of, so this is a, it was a real picture of a home built out of a stone quarry. I said, it, it looks, it is Minecraft chic. It is, it just sits there and cries out, look, Minecraft starter base. That's what this is. All right. So yeah, it was, now it's really cool. In reality, it's really cool. But looking at it for inspiration for builds and stuff in Minecraft, it's like, yeah, I've built that before. <laughs> it's, it's cool. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, all right. So we'll make this the back wall here. Now, I could do a little bit of decor here. and <laughs> I almost feel like building it. Yeah, right? Okay. So that's going to go this way. Oh, I've got a, I've got a floor difference. Okay, that's fine. Oh, actually, that would make some potentially a little bit of sense stepping down this way, and I could turn this wall into the bookshelves, right? This is a bookshop, so it's gonna be a bookshop, a little cafe. You know, I don't know if you've seen those little boutique shops. Um, we've got a little coffee shop in town that's okay. It's a coffee shop. Right, you go, you buy coffee, you've got seating, but it's got bookshelves, it's got uh, all sorts of good stuff, so you can buy books, or there's a paperback exchange, and all that good stuff, so. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I've already built that, I what do I need? Yep. So, yeah, I think that that's going to work here. Definitely want to make this a little bit taller. But what I can do is coming out of the aquarium, I can have this step down into this hallway that leads into the rest of the castle. Okay. I kind of like this. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. That's right. We'll, we'll just check that. We're good. All right. So I could come in here. Let's do... Oh, let's take it to there. And I'm just gonna build a build a book wall. Okay. All right. So we'll have ourselves a nice little book wall. The catch is this is up at this layer. So I I might want to. Well, I could. I certainly can extend this up this way. This isn't a problem. I mean, other than the whole uh, tearing out blocks, it probably should still be there. And not a problem at all. This problem is easily solved through science. Um, also, interior design. And uh, sleeping. Sleeping is a way to solve many problems. Um, or at least make you feel like you're solving many problems. Uh, you know. Okay. I like science, but, uh, you know. Sleeping. Sleeping is why I, I failed my science class. All right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mostly interior design. Okay, so I'm going to need some... I don't have stairs, but... Not on me anyway. But I'll need to bring them in here somewhere. Okay, now... 
So this will be fine. So where's, let's figure out where a couple of things are going to be, first of all. It's going to take this row of stone out. Okay, and let's get some stairs. I think I have some here in the chest already. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I think let's put... Let's put our steps... Let's put them back here. Okay. Let's make sure I've got light there. Okay. Great. Okay, so this is going to come in this way. I'll have the aquarium over here. This is really a multifunctional cafe. It's a, it's a bookshop. It's a cafe. It's uh, an aquarium. You know, it's a tourist trap is what it is. You know, it's how many ways can we get you into our store? Okay, so I'm going to need some sort of floor here. I'm using dark oak for this, so I could use spruce, but I think I want to use something a little bit lighter. Uh, I don't know if I want to go the birch route, or if I want to use, you know, maybe checkerboard some things, or uh, stripped birch logs might be good here, too. Okay. So there'll be a table there. Okay, so the aquarium's going in this way. It's going to be kind of skinny. It's going to be sort of an L shape, really. All right, so let's see. So the aquarium, I'm actually below floor level. So if I put this in here like this. Okay, that'll go right to the floor. Oh, that's, that's an idea. What if I bring it that way? Because why not? It can zig and zag. It's all good. Who doesn't like a little zigging and zagging? Snipers. Snipers do not like zigzagging. Because it makes you a harder target. Snipers would prefer you just go in a straight line at a constant speed. Or better yet, stand still. Okay. So, you know, for the benefit of all of the snipers out there, you know, just, just every once in a while just stop and smile. And, and then continue on with life. Or if you just do that in regular life, just every once in a while just stop and just start smiling. And then meander off. You'll get some weird looks and really screw with somebody's day. Okay? And that's that's what's the most fun. Right? So, you know, if and if you can screw with somebody's day just by smiling. <sighs> right? Seems like a win to me. Okay, so, all right, so we got aquarium going there, got that going there. That side's going to be a little higher, though I might widen this now that I'm seeing where things are looking at here. Okay, and that's fine. I can, I could, don't ever do that again. <laughs> What's wrong, woman? Are they coming for you? Are you feeling... Disturbed. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Major dogs bark. <laughs> nice. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so that's going to come. It's going to come in there. Um, yeah. So let's see. How far back do I want this to go now? Um, okay. Actually, what I should do is uh, sort of finish terraforming this hill. I have an excellent idea. Let's change the subject. Sounds like a fabulous idea. I, I, I'm a, agreed with you here. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes I I'm I am not what's wrong with society. I am just a mere reflection of it. <laughs> a, a dark mirror. Ah, yes. <laughs> All right. So let's 
Let's go ahead and bring this this um no. Not bring that down like that, but we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and bring this hill kind of kind of sort of this way. Alright, might need a little bit more dirt, but I think that'll work. Um We'll see here. I kind of like the idea of not continuing this wall straight. Okay, so if I bring this, say, this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of down with this idea. Okay, 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 okay. So. All right, yeah, that'll work. And then I can, actually, I like this shape. Take that out there. I like this shape, just having it sort of angled in like that. So I think what I'm going to do is let's, I'm going to go ahead and just put some bookshelves in. Well, I could just put them in here like this. And I should get some, uh, oh, let's just bring this all the way over. I should get some looms throw a couple of looms in here as well just for um, so I've got some empty shelves it adds a little bit of of uh, a little bit of texture a little bit of distinction stuff going on here all right so yeah so we'll have this you know over here is your French transcendentalism um, over over here um, You've got your, uh, you know, Russian self-help books, right? All of that stuff. So, you know, we're, we're good. It's all, it's all exciting. Oh, I think some, I was thinking maybe some barrels coming along the side here. And then I could just, if I wanted to, then I could just stick actual books for sale in those barrels. Because barrels is the proper way to store books, right? Just throw them in a barrel and hope for the best, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Um. <laughs> hey, Sprite. Yes, yes. What? Why has it night fallen? Oh, yeah, other people are on. That, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I've run into that a few times. Oh, I should sleep. Why can't I sleep? Oh, it's morning already because somebody else slept. <laughs> How you doing, Sprite? Hopefully you're having a fabulous morning. All right. And, all right, so I'm going to open that up. Um, oh, yeah, so we'll push this this side of, a, of an aquarium this way. Oh, pyramid lighting. That sounds fun and exciting. Well, as large as that pyramid is, I uh, can understand the need for light. All right, let's take out some of this dirt so I know where I'm at. Um, okay, so the trail's going to come across this way. So I actually have a little bit of room. I could come over... I could come over this way if I wanted to. Okay, yeah. That might work. It might. Oops. I might also kind of get stuck. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, apparently I can't do it. Oh, yes. I can do that here real quick. Give me just a moment. All right. Just slap this dirt in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so let's... I could do that. So let's see. TP ask, where are you at? I will... I will beam over to you. Okay. Huh. There seems to be slime around here somewhere. All right, so what do you need? You need inside? Where is an inside? I beamed in, but I'm on the outside of your pyramid. <laughs> Okay, outside. Cool. Okay, we're... Alright. 
So just looking for scary spots. Yeah, I mean, green is all scary. But, yeah, everything else is... I mean, and you're scary over here. But this this area you've got lit up seems all safe and, and happy and wonderful. So, yeah, that looks relatively safe. Not if there's anything else particular you wanted to look at here, but that's, uh, but otherwise your light levels are, are good. So, cool. All right, well, I'm going to slide back here then and then uh, grab a quick nap because... Also, it's fun just to slide off the bed. You know, that's exciting. Okay. But yeah, pattern's looking good. All right, so this is going to come this way. Um, I can, let's see, if I want to extend this. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of this being sort of a funky shape, so... All right, so where are my bricks? All right, so if this comes this way, all right. Okay, so that'll come across here, and then what I can do is run this aquarium. I guess sort of over and around this way. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like what... What you got going is certainly is providing enough light, so. So that's a win. Okay, yeah, and then this'll, we'll have back wall there. All right, cool. All right, so yeah, it's sort of a fun, yep, not a problem. Glad to help. All right, so yeah, so this is a little bit of a funky shape, but given the trail coming through here, that's probably a, an okay thing. Though I think what I'll do is let's run it this way. So it's... And I'm going to replace a lot of this brick with glass and other stuff. Or put glass on top of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, I understand that. It's like, um, maybe let's make sure it works before I do the entire build. Okay, see, that's my mistake. I make that mistake a lot. It's like, why don't I just do the entire build first, then see if it works? <sighs> Some days that's uh, a little problematic. Okay, so this is going to be glass, so you can see in the aquarium. Um, I'll put the... Yeah, put the little cashier, the barista's going over here. Okay, that seems like a reasonable thing. So I'll have a barista there. Throw some barrels there and over there. So I could, you know, stash books and things in it. I kind of like the idea of turning this into a shopping area that nobody uses. Just, you know, for... <laughs> why not you know yep so yeah you're right Co do a couple later layers see how it goes and it works great so woo <laughs> all right so all right so this is gonna be here we have glass wall this is all going to be water um so I don't know if I want to do, actually bring in turtles, which I could absolutely do. I could throw a couple of turtles there, but then <sighs> that, that actually would be a little bit of a problem. So, uh, well, something to uh, play with, I guess. I don't know. This is weird. It's so weird. It, it's it's fishy is what it is. All right, so that's going to go that way. Um, I'll put glass and stuff up here. Probably rework where this is. 
All right. I do like the idea of putting a little bit of wood out here, but maybe, maybe I'll just bring it this way. That would make some sense too. So, all right. So this will come up like that. Sure, sure. That's fine. I'm actually having a little bit of overhang because I've got some overhang from the flower shop here. To take a little bit of an overhang uh, from the bookshop. And, uh, you know, this, this could be okay. All right. You know what would be hilarious would be to turn this into a little bit of sort of a Diagon Alley type thing. So I've got this teleport spot here, and it's dropped into my, my teleport hub back at... Uh, back at my base, right? What if, I wonder if Mandolin would let me do that. Instead of going to my base, have this show up as sort of an alley in the, uh, in the uh, market. <laughs> it would be ridiculously silly. I may have to hit her, hit her up about that offline, but okay. Anyway, it's just, yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, so we got this going. It's starting to get a little bit of a shape going here. So I think I think taking this up four blocks will be good. Uh, let's let's get some andesite. Of course, the nice thing about this is now I have an easier path back to my <laughs> storage here. All right, and this, there it is. Hello, Andy, I need you. I don't need you, Granny. All right, so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through here and add, take out a few of these blocks, throw in some andesite um, just for decorative porpoises. Which uh, is an excellent idea for a. Oops, well. What do I say? Decorative porpoises is an excellent idea for a sort of a band name or something, you know? I don't know. Now opening for Iron Maiden. Decorative porpoises. Yeah, I don't think it quite has the same ring to it, you know? But sometimes you just gotta go with a decorative porpoise. All right, so let's go ahead and throw some of this in here. Now, I may end up replacing some of that anyway, but I think actually, let's make a little bit, add a little bit more here. Okay. That's a little bit too regular. Okay, so that's gonna go up that way. Plus I'll have some up here on the wall. Okay, I think I can do that. And it's like, and it's like, ooh, la di la di la di. Plop, body, boom, boom. Okay, so we'll, let's see, do I still have andesite wall? I do. It's convenient that. <clears throat> it's nice to actually have the building materials you need, right? <clears throat> so that's all going to come out. And, oh. Is that, that is only three blocks. Cool. Well, then, let's finish it. Okay, so we'll just <clears throat> bring this across, and I think I'll run this across like that. Or I'll just fall down and call it a day. That's okay, too. All right, yeah, do I want to... Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to run wall across like that. Which I kind of like that look. So I'll do that. I'm going to do glass here. I can't remember if glass bonds to the walls. Glass panes. 
glass panes bond to the walls, this will be great. If not, I'll have to figure out a little bit of something else. But in fact, I could just leave it open and it, it's abstract. That, that's fine. All right, but I like that. I like that look. It's got a nice little deal there. And I do want to keep. I want this to be as open as I can. As I said, this is sort of bay window dining. You sit here, watch people go up that way, watch people along the road. You know, all sorts of good stuff. So, so yeah. Okay, so that's going there. The aquarium's happening here. Okay, so this will slide across. Kind of like that. Let's add a little bit of add a little bit of andesite here in a couple of places just for just for the texture of it. Okay, let's maybe not put it where the glass is supposed to go, but sure. Okay, so we'll just run this across this way, kind of. Kind of like that. So, so that's our our gateway here. Now I could, in fact, it's probably not a bad idea. Throw a little bit of stone there. You know, no, I take that back. That is a bad idea. Let's take that out. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Now I could andesite, throw some andesite wall in that corner. Uh, we'll, I'll take a look and see how it goes after I do a little bit more decorating and stuff but 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 let's see now okay so this little this little building that i had laid out here is getting a little bit larger but that's okay so let's come out here i'm gonna take some dirt and what i want to do is i want to line up a couple of things so Let's see, so right here, coming back this way, is where the roof is gonna go, I think. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run this line of dirt back this way so I can see where it lines up with this, the back of this building. All right, and I also wanna see how much of the view that that would block. I don't think it's gonna block a lot, honestly. Okay, so some from here. Okay, yeah, this'll block some. You can still see, see a little bit. You'll be able to see out that way. And then coming up this way in the bouncy llama. Okay, yeah, the roof will stick out there just a little bit, but for the most part, Coming out this way, it's not going to block a lot. At least when you're standing on the ground. And then you stand up here, you'll have a good view of this. Okay. Okay. I think this will be good. All right. And then this will have a view of the castle as that eventually grows up. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. I actually need to go hunt up that, oops, that picture from Instagram again and uh, make sure I remember what that castle looks like. There was, I saw a, it was a picture, it was a painting actually, uh, concept art from a uh, abandoned King Arthur movie. And they had sort of an octagonal castle that I really liked the look of, which is why that, you, you can kind of see the skeleton still out there. That's why this is this sort of octagonal shape. I said I was thinking that's what I might start with is the, the base framework for that castle. But I'm also working scale and all that other stuff there, so. Okay, anyway, so this is gonna go up to about there. I kinda like the idea, I could actually make it a little bit taller if I wanted to. Don't know if I wanna go more than one block taller than that, but that's a that's a good start. And what I might do 
have to to play with it a little bit to see how it works with this bay window here. Um, it is going to come out, hang over this a bit, and then slide out over this way to cover the aquarium. Now, I'm not entirely sure how I want to cover that aquarium. Um, I suppose it would be hilarious to have people fall into it, uh, but, you know, there are days that that's probably not the best option that I could have. You know, do I really, really want uh, that sort of liability just for comedic value? And sometimes the answer to that question is yes. Yes, sometimes the, the comedy is a lot more fun than the idea of somebody getting hurt, really. Um, okay, that's a joke. You don't, people shouldn't be getting hurt just for comedy's sake. At least that's what I tell people. <sighs> okay. So. Alright, so I think this side I'm going to go ahead and block off. Okay. Well, dirt will definitely block it off, but this is the back wall of the aquarium. So, go ahead and put that there. Now, I had some ideas for dealing with at least one wall and probably this one, uh, which will look really cool. What I want to do is I want to come in here with some uh, coral. I want to take some coral blocks along this wall. Now, you're going to sit there and, and look at this and say, but Pearl Stalker, that doesn't make any sense at all. Because the coral will just dry out and look dead. You are correct. You are 100% correct. However, if I run a waterfall back behind it so that the water runs along those blocks, it'll keep the coral alive. And then I could perhaps tie that into some decor out here as well. So... So that is kind of what I'm thinking of. I was, I thought I might do it on just this whole wall, but once I realized that I was going to um, turn this into, you know, a hallway back into the castle, that that idea sort of disappeared. Though I could do it all the way along here as well. All right, so I could take this wall and this wall make this a make this wall into living like a living coral wall run some water behind it right just to keep it wet and then yeah <clears throat> yeah that'll be that'll be lovely okay cool Cool. And then that, that becomes part of the attraction, right? Here's the... Ooh, look at the living coral. Ooh, ah. Pay no attention to this plain boring wall that you're walking next to. It's a, Actually, what I might do is put some... Uh, I don't know, glazed terracotta or something along here. But, you know, something that leads back into this lovely little bookshop. All right, so, well, let's... I'm going to throw some scaffolding down uh, just for some ideas where I want to throw some tables. Um, okay, obviously there'll be some chairs on each side of it. Uh, right, these are... Okay. Oh, maybe a... Maybe a little bit large. No, it's a, this is a little cafe. We're talking small tables. Maybe a couple of blocks at best. Okay. The barista's going here. Okay, so with whatever whatever block I decide to do, let's let's just use some wool for now to block that off. Okay, so the barista's going to be there. Uh, okay, yeah, so something along those lines. Um, we have some seating there. Seating there. This is sort of open. I guess I could tr slap another table down kind of there, perhaps. 
you don't really want to block the walkway, but on the other hand, you do want it to look like there's stuff happening, so. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just stick another table over here. And just make them a couple of a little bit bigger tables, I suppose. Check this guy sitting out here in the bay window. If I might even can widen that one up that way like that. Okay. All right, that's a that's definitely a possibility. Okay, cool. We'll sh sh yeah, make this one a smaller table. Okay, and then the the books are here. We've got the aquarium happening that way. And let's throw a couple of more bookshelves at, at things here. So if I were to come in, let's say right there. Okay. I suppose I could do... Actually, that might be better. Let's... I'm changing my mind. It happens. Sometimes the mind gets dirty. You need to, to change it for one that's a little bit cleaner. Perhaps... Uh, one that's seen a little less wear and tear. Uh, you know, unfortunately, my mind is one that I just kind of scooped out of a gutter at one point. You don't want to be inside my head. Believe me that it is difficult sometimes to keep the stream as family friendly as I want it to be because I am just that. My mind is broken that way. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab the crafting table. Because I've got one. All right, and now I need I need some barrels. Well, that's not nearly enough barrels. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm falling into the trap again. I'm doing interior design before I'm done doing the uh, outside. That's not the way this is supposed to go. finish getting these barrels in. and then I'm going to finish trying to get the outside of the building done okay there's something to be said for building it without worrying about that pesky roof but yeah I want to get the get that all figured out now I think what I want to do actually for the roof maybe I'll, I'll make that roof a little bit more colorful okay so for example, the, the bank has the that dark slate roof, but it, it's a bank. It's dark and slatey. That's just what banks do, right? Okay, that seems seems like a reasonable uh, reasonable thing, but um, yeah. So get the bank. Um, we'll get. Uh, but here, I think what I want to do is I'll bring this down with some. I think some warped wood for the actual roof, but with some maybe dark oak or perhaps even some blackstone edging just around the outside. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to play with that once I get the roof up, but okay. But I want something here that looks kind of, kind of fun and exciting that way so get some dark oak there um let's go ahead and bring this stone across stone and some andesite oh. okay so i need to get the glass in all right just for now let's go ahead and slap that up there just to just to get this in place. Oh, stop. Stop, stop. All right, so this that wall will go there, and then that'll go like that. Okay, cool. All right, so that comes out. Yeah, so from the outside, you can look in and see the inside of the aquarium, and that's a, a good thing. I'm happy for that. Uh, all right, I need to do a little bit with the dirt over there. 
Okay, so just uh, yeah, let's just take out most of this dirt right here. Okay, so this wall. Actually, maybe what I want to do is bring these stairs back one block. I kind of like that idea a little bit better. Plus, what it, what it's going to do by moving these stairs back, what I can do is use this as stone, right? So I can come back here with some andesite and some cobble or stone brick. But I can put then the uh, coral wall there and coming back this way and not have to worry about this. This is just, hi, look, I'm, I'm a support beam. I'm supposed to be here. Okay, because you kind of want your support beams to look like they belong there, you know. It's a, it's sort of a thing, you know. Okay, now I've got to remember where the floor is. So I don't, right, the floor is going to be one block up. It's going to be at this layer. Okay, so don't need to worry about that. So I've got some books going there. Let's see. That blocks off the redstone, so I'm not going to be able to do a lot that way. What I can do is put another row of books there. Maybe what I'll do is let's, maybe I'll craft a couple of barrels to fill in a, maybe this column here. I kind of like that idea. <clears throat> okay. All right, so, it's wonderful. Okay, so we've got that. Um, okay, yeah. And actually, I've got a bunch of space out here. Just, I'm sorry, I just had random thoughts. Uh, you got to watch out for the random thoughts. They will get you. They, you know, uh, but I've got a bunch of space, like, sitting out here in front of the florist. All right, I'll continue the path coming this way and maybe a little bit going down that way. But maybe what I want to do is set up, like, a food truck. Sort of sitting out here. You know, a little pop-up shop, something like that. Uh you know, and I think a little bit of a uh, a little thing sort of right in here would be good, too. Just add a, a little bit of extra flavor and some other stuff to, to what's happening here. Okay. I think that'll be good. All right. So we'll have this going. I kind of like the idea of maybe putting some some books up at a uh, little bit higher level. Yeah, I, you know, throw some sort of up kind of like that. The problem is it's got this oak texture underneath, just this oak planky, both top and bottom. So maybe, maybe not. I'll, I'll have to play with that some, but. Okay, so we'll come in. I kind of like the idea, though, of putting some books there. Maybe not all the way to the top. Okay. But just in a, just a little bit, a couple of places here, you know, probably put some uh, potted plants on there, those types of things, maybe in this window as well. Just a, hey, you know, look, we are a, we are a little bookshop as well as a cafe sure sure that's that's a thing i can go with that <sighs> all right all right well and maybe what i can do is put a um, couple of things back here you know smoker and some other stuff just to say oh look here's the should maybe right in that block. Yeah. Because that that's sort of goes back into the hill here. So I can do a little bit of decorating back that direction if I want to. Plus, I think 
this is as well. So I can, I can do some fun stuff there. All right, so I've got the, got some tables. I don't know that I'm gonna use scaffolding actually for the table, but they're good for blocking out uh, where things are gonna go. All right, let's go get the warped wood and deal with the roof. And then I need to figure out what I'm doing for the floor because I don't have a clue. Throw that in. Definitely don't need the granite. Okay. Anything else? I'll throw a couple of stacks of stone in there for now. All right. So let's get some. Let's get some wood here, and yeah, finding more. I I know where to find it. Turns out, pretty good at. Uh, Losing stuff in my boxes, so probably won't know where to find it. We'll we'll see. All right, so head back through here. Yeah. Oh, this will be all sorts of fun to get this all decorated and such. Yeah, it's a, a nice, nice coral wall coming down. This whole whole thing will look really good. Yep, get that all in place, get some kelp in, get some water flowing, it'll be great. Wait, right, what was I doing? Uh, roof, that's what I was doing. I remember. All right, so let's see now. How do I want to do this? Let's, honestly, I kind of want to I kind of want to make this a steeper roof. Sort of come, if I bring this down this way. Oops, that's, that is 100% the wrong place for that. Okay, it's not even like 97% the wrong place. No, it's just completely the wrong place. Okay, I'm going to turn the TV on and off. But um. Okay. Oh, honestly, that's a little, that's a little short. Okay, so let's come in here with the blocks. All right. That's, I think that's kind of okay for the height. Now the the only drawback here. So I do that, I'll need to push this out across the top of the rest of the building a little bit. And I have no idea how that's going to look. i got to figure out something. Hmm. All right. Oh, Lord, decorating. It's a weird thing that I'm bad at. Oh, let's try this. Well, that's wrong. All right, so let's definitely take that out. What if I sort of sloop it up kind of like this? Okay. I might want to bring it up a little sooner. Like if I brought it up kind of at that level. Well, that's fine. You go there. That one comes out. That might work. Yeah, so that could come out. Now I'll have to do a little bit of stuff as I work over this. Okay, what is that? So that's the stair and then a slab. So it's stair and then a slab. Actually, I might need a couple here just because it's... I'm going to need more slabs, obviously. Um, yeah, just because this, this side's a little bit wider. 
right? The door is not centered in the building. Okay, which isn't a bad thing. It's actually uh, aesthetically pleasing to someone's eye. Okay, so just uh, grab a few more slabs because if I'm going to build it this way, I'm going to need it. All right, and then bring that up like that. Okay. Yeah, so that could be fun. I, and then things are going to get a little funky when I come across here. But, um, though, honestly, I think I need to bring this out this way just a touch more. Because what I want to do is I want to bring, I want this to be flat against the, uh, against that log. Okay, so. So this will come out this way. Oops. All right. Okay, so this should be okay, right? So that'll go there. This was just a placeholder. Okay. I think that'll work, though. I think that'll work. It, I might want to do a little bit. Oh, man, big stretch. Okay. Just because the, uh, just as I look at this, the, I mean, it's, it's asymmetrical, which is okay, but it's definitely going to bug a few people. This side is a little tall. Okay, so I might want to bring this. All right, so let's take that out. So that would go there and this would come out. All right, so something along those lines, though I could kick that, uh, this dark oak log up a, a spot, that might be okay too. All right, and... All right, so let's see. Kind of like the, actually, I, I really like the the shape of this roof. Okay, I like where it's going. Um, it's gonna get set a little funky as I get across the bay window, and then dealing with it as it comes across this very awkwardly shaped section of stuff. Okay, All right. So as I bring it up over the aquarium, that's gonna be a little weird. So. So let's see now. How do I want to do that? Um, let's let's see. What I could do is I could basically do the same thing that I was doing here. Is I could bring this up this way. Hang on. There we go. Kind of up like this. All right. So that comes out. Right, I think that way. Oh, come on. I can do it. I can fly. All right, so. Yeah, so that's flat on there. Um, so this one, I, I could bring out this way more, but it makes this arm seem really off. And I want the peak centered over the, the doorway. So I think that'll be okay. I just need to play with it some. Okay, but if I do that, and then what I can do is bring in, oops, bring this in this way. Okay, so bring in this, what is it? Uh, okay, I see, so stair, block, block, stair. Like that, right? Okay, so let's see. So stair, block, stair, and then a block on top. Okay. Okay, right. And then this would come down like that. Okay. So sort of along that that 
uh, trajectory. There we go. I have to stop using big words because then I for just mispronounce them and it sounds really stupid. Okay. All right. But if I do it that way, so I run into this hill and I want to be a little bit careful how I do that. So what if I... Yeah, let's bring this over. Oops, come on. Come on. Hoppy, hoppy. I can be a little wabbit. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. What if I did it this way? Put the stair there. Okay. Right, and then, come on, jump. Okay, and just bring this across this way. Okay, see, I could do that. Now, this hill will still come over, but what will then happen is this will come across over towards this, and there'll be a, there'll be a little meeting of the ways over here where the roofs are going to sort of deal with each other in some way that I haven't quite figured out yet, but but that can work. That can totally work. Okay. All right. Because having a bowl-shaped roof is perfect for collecting water. Uh, just in case you want to promote leaks in your house. Uh, you really do want to have a roof shaped like a bowl. Okay. The other thing I could do with this is I could make it sort of a, well, sort of plain, I guess. Or, I can leave that coming up. The rest of this can be sort of plain just to uh, let's hop up here for a minute. All right, so the rest of this could be sort of plain. I like the idea of it perhaps overhanging here just a bit. Okay, just bring it along, sort of overhang. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. And then I could... I don't know what to do for the roof, though I could do, because I've got the space, it'll be blocked off too, mostly. I could do kind of a coral roof and just put uh, water on top of it, keep the coral alive. There'll be water underneath it, so, okay, if it drips a little, who cares? Okay. Okay, I could to do that. I might want to bring this side out a little bit more, but okay, so if I bring this out this way okay, so we'll just come out ah, bedtime yes, sounds like a plan. Sleep well, Sprite I hope you have a fabulous rest and uh as night falls here too in the in the nerdy realm, the sun sets peacefully in the distance through the through the arch of the of sunset, and yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Okay, there we go. Sleep. Enough symbolism. Let's go to sleep and get back to work. Yes, I took English classes. We had to study symbolism. It sucked. What is the symbolism that... Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald used for this all... You know, what, it, it's, it's World War I, and it's dark, and it's gray. What is the symbolism here? It's, well, it's, uh, it's Europe. It's always dark and gray. That's just how it works. 
Though they were in France, not England, so I guess there's some sunshine there too. But anyway. All right, so let's see. Let's go and take this out. So that'll go there, that'll go there. And I can do a little bit with this, but it's coming into the hillside. It definitely plays with that just a touch. All right, so let's see what this looks like over here, right? So if I bring, let's just, oops, those are stairs, not slabs. Okay, let's just bring these slabs across this way. Okay, they're just gonna slide right across here like this. Okay, now I can, I can give them little loopy doopies up this way too, but for now, Let's not, um, or, you know, let's, I guess. So this will slide across this way. This will slide across this way. Now, I have this bay window. So what to do with the bay window? Now, often, uh, what's really useful is to take your your bay and just drop it into your soup and add some nice seasoning there. Uh, but that would be a bay leaf and not a bay wi window. So probably good to not get them confused. Okay, yeah, now I can't put a, a wall there, but I can put some wall up that way. And maybe what I could even do there is run a little glass. A little something there. I could even run the roof out this way just uh, a little bit more here like this as well. Okay. Maybe I'll... Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's... Uh, boy, so many slabs. So many. Okay. Roofing always takes more slabs than you expect. Okay, so what's that looking like from out this way? It's not bad, though, if I run these up on top here. Right. Just to continue the, oh, darn it. Just to continue the sort of loopy uppy thing going. Again, these are technical terms, loopy uppy. Uh, just to continue that up that way a little bit. Which, uh, yeah, there and then over one more. I Actually, I may just bring that all the way across just as I'm looking at it. That will, I'll have to lift up that side a little bit more too, which is okay. But, so let's go ahead and just, we'll just bring this up. So the theme here is fantasy in theory. So having something that just looks a little bit weird and wonky is perfectly fine. Well, okay, so. All right, there we go. Kind of like the idea of this coming up and leaving a gap. I said if I if I were to come in through here with with um, yeah some coral, do some coral roof with some uh, water above it, I think that would look pretty okay. Yeah, I think that would look look pretty good. All right, sweet. So. Let's uh, fall down here, which seems like a, an excellent idea. Okay. All right, so that's going to go that way. Maybe let's take the stair out. Oh, no, I can't take the stair out because that was... Uh, but what I can do 
is replace the stair with a block. I think that'll be good. And then, all right, because this is going to go that way a little bit. Uh, then I think what I need to do is I need to go take a quick bio break, re refill my water, and uh, drain my bladder. Hey, I kind of need to pee. It happens. It happens to the best of us. You know, bathroom breaks just have to happen. So I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break, fire up an ad just to make it easier on those other people who are coming in, and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay. Ah, much better. Much better. All right. <clears throat> Let's get the glasses back on, right? All right. So, what else do I need while I'm sitting here? Um, probably, probably a zillion more slabs. Okay. Yep. That's roughly a zillion. Okay. Cool. Okie dokie. So, get out here and do a little bit more uh, on the slab front. Oh, and some stairs would have been helpful too. All right. All right. So, what I'm going to do is let's. I want to go and run this these stairs this way. And I want to run one of those blocks. Probably a few more blocks than that, actually. Okay, so this is the this is the top of this section of roof, right? It's a lovely section of roof. This is the top of this section of roof where they will join together in peace and harmony. Now, harmony is a wonderful thing. It's also a town in Pennsylvania, I think. There are probably towns throughout the world named Harmony. Uh, if you live in one of them, congratulations. All right, so. Now, this is going to be a huge thing of, of green, All right? There's going to be a lots of green happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once I get the roof in, then what I'll come in and do is I'll, I'm going to add some sea lanterns at places to give it a little little light for one thing so it's kind of spawn proof throw some trap doors around uh, on top of it probably the the warped as well just to give it a little texture a little bit of uh color all that well color it's got plenty of color but you know all of that nonsense all right and while i'm worrying about that let's go hop into bed and maybe 
craft up some stairs before I do that. Because I'm going to need many stairs. All right, so let's see now. We got all of the stuff. Hey, how's it going there, dinosaur? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fabulous day today. This lovely, lovely Saturday. Okay. Um, actually, let's come around this way. All right. So we'll swing this happy little section of roof. Oops. I guess I should grab a grab a few more planks, huh? Okay. So bring this this very happy section right across this way. It's not quite how I wanted to do approach that, but I guess it works. Okay, so, so, hop in here, and thank you so much for that follow as well. I definitely appreciate it. And, uh, what have you been up to, dinosaur? Fun Minecraftian goodness, or, you know, are you flaunting the laws of nature and helping life find a way which uh, can also be fun i don't know to have significant amounts of jeff goldblum in your life how do, you know the, these are the, the really serious questions that get asked here yeah. do you have enough jeff goldblum in your life all right so Get that going this way, that going that way. Great! Roofing! The worst possible thing in Minecraft. Almost. Okay, I'm going to go and take this out and put in a block here. Okay. Uh, not two blocks, though. Just just one. One is fine. Huh, he's your favorite actor. Nice! Um... Uh, I have to admit, I don't. I haven't seen him in much beyond uh, Jurassic Park and uh, Thor. What else did I? I did see his uh, his version of the Fly many, many, many years ago. But if you might uh, guess, it was many years ago. <laughs> Wasn't super excited about the movie. Of course, I was probably eight at the time so you know i are old all right so we'll bring this now i've got this coming in this way i might actually want to bring this side up here instead because right, i've got this big flat roof of roofiness i think if i were to Let's do it this way. I Go ahead and... Yeah, that'll be a slab. And this will be planks. Okay. Try this. Okay, we'll run the planks across this way. And then, if I run these across like this... All right. Yeah, so this then will connect over here. This will connect over this way, kind of, sort of, like that. Oh, yeah, this roof will make all sorts of sense. <laughs> That's right. Magic. Okay, sure, that can go in there like that. Now, do I want to... So that goes up two. I think it goes up three on this side. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I could bring it up three this way as well, which would be fine. So then the, the weird part comes over here with what's happening with this mess. And I don't, I don't like what's happening here. I mean, it just seems a little weird. I suppose I could raise this side up. I mean, it's an aquarium, so I've got some flexibility here. <sighs> um, okay. 
All right, well, use the magical flying powers and let's see what we can do here. All right, so, yeah, because I don't really want to change the shape of this wall, though I suppose I could. In all honesty, it's not that far off. So we'll take that out for a minute. Because I could push this back a little bit. I said it's, I, I do like having this amount of space here though. So, all right. All right, well, let's see now. Ooh, okay, so if I take that out, I could do this, this sort of job here. I can only do it with that row because this is all the next layer up. It's, that, it's the top of the slab, so. So that's not going to happen. Take those out for a minute. It's a weird shaped roof. I I freely admit that. It is weird. So very weird. Honestly, maybe I'll just uh, not worry about it. Uh, <laughs> How do you solve your problems? Well, I just ignore them, and then they go away. Does that work for you? Are you ignoring me now? <laughs> go away. Yeah, you know, it's just one of those things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You, you, you gotta really pick your moments, I guess. Okay, so... I think... Yeah. Though, honestly, what I could do is I could just angle this back down, I suppose. I could bring this sort of this way. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ico. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you back. Y yeah. So, hope your stream's been going well, man. Unfortunately, because of the time difference, I'm not able to catch most of your streams, but... Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to take this out for now. Ah, uh, yeah. Work will do that to you, man. All right, I'm going to take this out for the moment just so I can get under here and reach. Okay, so that goes there. That goes there. And maybe I, I do want to take the... Well, yeah, it's all right. We'll just do that. Okay, sure, sure. That's... It's not too bad. Okay. I suppose I could do a different thing, but. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah, no worries, man. Ah. All right. So let's get back this way. Yeah, you're. All right. So let's see what's happening here. So that roof is kind of doing okay. Gets a little funky over here, but that's because of the shape of things this way. Um, I think I want to come back here, drop in some, drop in a block behind that just to, probably behind that as well, just to give that a little closure. You know, it's nice to have closure in life, you know. Of course, uh, it might be easier to get at it from this side, since I can, since I can, you know. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. So that's... Well, that is what it is. And what it is is a thing. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll just close that all up like that. Okay, so I'm going to do... Hmm. This could be funky. So I'm going to do the the coral wall here and back along that hallway. I was talking about doing coral roof, or co you know, coral ceiling all the way across here. I'm not sure that's going to work uh, now that I've put this roof in. So, I mean, I can do it over this way where the roof gets higher. All right, so I, let's hop up here for a minute so I can show you. Uh, so I could 
Well, fall back down because that's... Jeez, nuggets, man. Stand on the blocks. All right. So I could run some coral here. Of course, this gets flat too as it comes this way. So I guess maybe the coral roof is not going to happen. Well, I'm okay with that. I can, I can live without a coral roof. All right, so let's get uh, let's get this going here. So that goes down this way. That comes out like that. All right, same thing on this side. Uh, maybe put the stairs in the right side. Yes, I can do it. I can. So then this comes back this way. It'll blend in with that section of the wall there in a moment. Okay. And then that comes across like that. Lovely. All right, let's go find a bed. Preferably mine. Sleeping in other people's beds just gets awkward. Then they wonder why you're there. It's just a little crazy, so... All right, so let's uh, slide up this way. I don't have enough stairs for this. Well, you know, it happens. All right, so let's slide this through here. Get ourselves some nice, happy little blocks. Happy, well, and now that is the end of the happy little blocks. They're no longer happy. I'm not even sure they're little anymore. That's not going to be enough. But we'll start with it and just see how far we get. Yeah, this is going to get a little weird with this hill. I, I like building, you know, with the terrain, but I did a really bad job of it this time, I think. All right, so now this gets awkward here, and that's okay. gonna get a little awkward on the other side too but oh no it's not because i took out that stair in the middle so so yeah this will be fine i don't right see it just cranks right on over it's all good okay yeah th that side will just go straight it's it'll be fine all right so now this one comes right under there so so that's easy So that's going to come in this way. And then, oops. Well, I guess I'm down here now. But, you know, it's, it's a nice place to be if you want to be here. I'm not entirely sure I do, but, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely a place. So. All right, so that's going to go this way. This is going to come out. I'll be running slabs across the top here, just like that. Okay. All right, this is, this might turn out okay. I'll have to, we'll have to see what it looks like when I'm done with it. But for now, we'll just, we'll do what must be done. So that'll go that way. These stairs will come over just like this. Okay, maybe not like that. That's just sort of a... The, the stair is sort of wrong that way, but... Okay. Okay, okay. So let's... <sighs> yeah, might as well do them all. I'm going to need a lot more stuff. Just as I'm looking at this, uh, I may have to go hit up the the farm. Go, uh, go farm up a, a bunch more of this uh, lovely wood here. But in the meantime, all right, so that's sticking out that way, which is a good thing. Um, Got a little bit of wall ha action happening here, which isn't horrible. I just need to sort it out. Okay. 
I mean, I could just bring dirt across this way and, you know, Bob's your uncle, I suppose. I mean, maybe Bob's not your uncle, but, you know, sometimes he just likes to come bring you presents and he's really just a friend of the family. They just call him Uncle Bob. You know, and then it turns out he runs Disney. You know, it, you know it's, it's hard to say. Really hard to say. Okay. All right, that's not bad. All right, so now let's uh, oh, stare over this. All right, and um, I'm out. Actually, I think I have some more logs back here in storage. And that would be a win. Storage is a wonderful thing to have. Big fan of that myself, actually. Let's see. So. Okay. I, you know, might as well grab those trap doors. I'm going to need them. All right. So. Let's go ahead and craft up a bunch more stairs. Actually, I might not need the stairs. I take that back. I definitely need the planks, though. I definitely need the planks. So, let's get back up here. Alright, so... That goes that way. Alright, yeah, and I'm... 100% I'm gonna have to do some... Just some weird things. This is a lot of blue here. And it, it's, I like the color, but it, there's just a lot of it. So there are definitely some things that are going to have to happen. But, and as you look at this, right, I've got some really scary spots happening basically all over this roof, right? You can just see all of those red numbers. Those are places where monsters can spawn. And, uh, not a huge fan of those red numbers. So, I have to do something about that. But, that's actually not as hard a problem as it might seem. Because, yeah, because I can come in here with some of this. and So, I'd put in some sea lanterns with some trap doors over it. Um, I could do the same thing up here on the top of this. You can kind of see, like, over there. Right, you can see what kind of what I did. It works out. It looks good. Um, you know, throw those in here in a few places and it'll be fine. So, actually, let's turn the light levels back on. And let's see now. So, if I put in that. And... Actually... Let's move that in one, because I may, I think I might want to do a little bit of, uh, just change the edging here a little bit, right? Because I've got the, oops, oh, that was a, that was a little too much. Okay, so let's come in three blocks in. One, two, three. Right, is that, Yeah. Yep, that is one, two, three, four is the the sea lantern. Cool. Doesn't quite reach all the way over here, which is I, I suppose is okay, um, right? But then I can take these trap doors, kind of like that. Definitely want to do something here. I I not entirely sure what I could just trap door over the whole smash. I mean, if I, yeah, I said I could just put the trap doors over the whole thing and call that, call that a day, but, let's see, so what's in between here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course. All right. All right, well. Huh. All right, well, let's just get this stuff in so it's the same way. So one, two, three. And then four, that puts this light right there. 
Now part of this is just, hey, let's make things look the same. And actually, this can come out here. And that can come out, which then causes some other problems, but I'll fix that in a minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's going there. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, that's not a bad place for one right there. I wasn't intent. Well, I was. Uh, did I intentionally count to six? Yes. Uh, yes, actually, I did. But um, was it for reasons that I understand? Not actually. No, no, not, not really. All right, so. So that's going to go there. I'll need to get some light over in here, obviously. So that might come... That actually might shine out from the aquarium. Because this builds up... I'll sort of all have ground sand and stuff all at uh, this level. So I could throw some sea pickles and stuff over here. Which will light up out that way just a touch. Okay. I do need to get out here and replace all of this dirt, so let's just do that real quick. Just for my own uh, peace of mind. Okay. Also, I do I should expand this out just a little bit. So this will come out that way, that way. Oh, you know what? It got dark. That's probably not ideal. Okay, so that'll come out that way. Cool. All right, let's grab a quick nap, and then we'll head back out there and see what's going on. Oh, boy. I mean, hopefully things are going to be great. All right, that'll, it'll be, it'll be okay. So... Now, I could take that that one, which actually might not be too bad. Um, right, so if I were to take, say, this block, turn that into a sea lantern. Oh, I need some trapdoors. Oh, trapdoors. Oh, ba -dum, ba -dum. oh trapdoors. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, trapdoors. Got a few of those, right? Trapdoors are lovely. All right, but, so I can throw a trap door up there. Now it's a little bit, oops, yeah, it's a little bit funky there. Might be better to throw it down here, below that, but it's not too bad from, from here. Obviously from the ground, you're hardly going to see that. You get a little bit there, but that, and that's, it's actually not bad. I don't think it throws the the look of things off at all. But yeah, so all right. I can't really do those ones, but yeah, so maybe what would be better to do is if I had to take out say this one. Okay, throw that over that way. Oh, man, it's still... Hmm. I was sort of hoping that I could get enough light over there that it would... Yeah, that would do it. Okay, so let's take that out. Take this out again. Great. Ended up on the wrong tool. I guess that's uh, the way the... Oh, that's the way the sea lantern crumbles, I guess. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Not a problem. Okay, so now I've got some light up here. And then some light here. Now this, unfortunately, is all visible. So I, it would be really tough to drop a, a sea lantern in there on that side. Up here, it's not that big a deal. Right? I can sort of come in. Yeah, say right about right about there. Now, 
right? And I can just and I could just sort of sea lantern across the whole this whole thing, right? Okay, and that keeps that reasonably well lit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, right here is fine. Okay, bring that in there. Trap door is all over the place because who doesn't like a good trap door? The person standing on it when it opens. Yeah, that's the person who does not like a good trap door. Those are the people that would actually prefer a bad trap door. Okay, and I can appreciate their their desires, right? That whole, I really don't want to plummet into this uh, pit of crocodiles or something, you know? Okay, so now, looks like most of this roof is okay. I'm going to do a few other things. I could actually come in here maybe with some, some signs and stuff. That might work. But this is going to be an issue. So, all right. So if I were to put a, let's just put one, a sea lantern there. Let's see what that looks like from this side. That looks really bad. I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, but yeah, that does not look good. So let's take that out. Put the slab back. I suppose, ack, well, I suppose I can just randomly take out the wrong block and uh, call it good, you know? Man, all right. Since it's uh, kind of on that block, which is a, not a bad place for it to be, honestly, because it's going to be, it's going to be different anyway. Right, and I can trap door over that right see that's not too bad throw that trap door in so that keeps this mostly safe things are just bad on this block which honestly i might be able to deal with in a different way right because i've got all of this going here right now for now it's just torches i was thinking about putting some other form of light along this uh, along the staircase hmm. okay so that's that's definitely a thing i can deal with that all right but for the most part now this roof is doing okay i think just for my own i don't say sanity but because I'm not entirely sure I've got a whole lot of that some days. But for my own sense of symmetry, maybe that's that's more reasonable. I have a my own sense of symmetry. Let's go and craft up just a, a few more trapdoors here. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm just going to put these on the outside. They're all sort of sitting in the same place here, so we'll do that. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is opposite. That is opposite that light. There we go. Okay, and I'll just trap door up that way. Okay, cool. Now, so I could take out some of these torches then and all sorts of other fun. All right, so let's come out here, take a look how how this roof looks. Okay, now obviously this gap needs something done with it, but okay, so I've got that little bit there, which I think is okay. Okay, I think we've got things. All right, so this isn't too bad. I think what I want to do here, too, is let's... Uh, oops, that was a trap door. I knew it was a trap door when I placed it. That did not stop me from placing the wrong thing. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to run just a... I want to run that out just a touch, maybe? 
Maybe not. On actually, that that's a little too much. Okay. Okay. So I need to do something here in the the center gap, right? I could just fill it in, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, let's craft a, up a couple more stairs. All right, now let's start with putting a stair in the bottom of this, okay? Well, I was gonna say maybe forward a block. All right, let's start by putting a stair there, okay? Oh, that's, a, that's an idea. Okay, let's get um, Sea Lantern, there we go. Yeah, that's not bad. Though I might want to actually change the color of that trapdoor. Just to just to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of variety, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know, it's hard to say things sometimes, and that's variety is a hard word. Okay, so that goes in that way. All right, so that'll go up like that, and yeah, just fill that in there like that, and boom, and shakalaka at the same time. All right, cool. Sweet. Okay, yep, definitely don't need that torch because we've got some light happening out here, so. Cool. All right, so that's doing okay. So I'll need to deal with some windows and things. Actually, that might be able to go away. Almost, almost. Definitely have some some shady spots I need to work on, but I like that. That's sort of a fun, that's a fun design, right? You're over here at the bank. Okay, you're coming out of the bank, that's, it's not bad. It kind of feels like it needs a little bit of something here on the on this. Oh, well, I guess that that's a sign that I need to sleep. The uh, sound of plummeting zombies in the distance. You must beware of the plummeting zombie. They uh, not unlike the price of your stock portfolio. The zombies will plummet and try to kill you. All right, so let's see now. Do I have some... I do have some warped fence. Well, that's convenient. I'm going to take some fence gate, too. I have a weird thought. Okay, and sometimes I have them, and they're weird, but... Let's, let's go try something here. All right, so. Ooh, that would be fun to pull that up as part of the aquarium. Okay. Well, let's, all right, so let's take these out. Now, I was going to put in fence gates, right? Or fences, right? And that's fine. That adds a little texture. I could put in andesite fences, which I don't have in my inventory right now. Right? Yep. Can't really see that well enough to care. Okay. So those come out. Yeah, let's... I've got some andesite. I also have no inventory space, which is a small problem. Tiny, really minuscule, in fact. Gotta turn off the light levels. Okay, go ahead and just, let's drop some dirt off. All right, let's craft a, craft a couple of andesite walls. Awesome. Now, let's get out here and play with this a little bit. All right, we're gonna hop up here and throw in the andesite walls. Yes, I like that. 
all right it gives a it breaks up the color a little bit it adds a little bit of depth axe there we go okay and it just looks cool so you know i i'm all in favor of things that look cool so we'll just take those things out that goes back in there like that um this wall needs to not be dirt Oh, no. Well, all right. All right, if you can see where I screwed up, raise your hand. This needs to hang over this wall, just an extra block. So, well, that's annoying. It's not a huge deal, but it just means I have to move this whole thing forward a block stairs come here stairs also the slabs okay so that's gonna go there there i'm gonna have to craft up another i have to craft up one more stair <sighs> one more stair need one more stair okay it's fine it's fine yeah, everything is fine Got so, oops. So that goes not there. No, no. You thought you knew where you went, but you don't. All right. So let's uh, take this whole mess out. Okay, we gotta take this out. Okay, those come out. Okay. So that goes that way. The stairs go back in. Okay. It's all right. We'll get there. And my lip itches. Which is a really weird feeling. And, you know, I'm not super excited about it. Okay, so that goes in that way. Let's grab our andesite. Did throw these guys off just a little bit, but I think we're okay. Definitely threw this off, though. All right, so that I put there. I want to do... All right, so let's do this. So that'll come up that way. That provides enough light there. That can go that way. And I think if I take this out, everything will be fine. At least that's the theory. There are a lot of theories that never panned out, but I think this one will. Okay. Now, it helps, though, to put the block in the right plate. <clears throat> All right. Let's just... All right, now again, I still have some outside light that I need to deal with, but for now, I'll just slap a torch down because that doesn't look ugly at all. All right, grab my chicken and uh, partake joyously. All right. Okay, so that comes out that way. I suppose I could take out this dirt if I wanted to. Okay, that's... Okay, so that's a thing. It kind of happens. Let's grab some andesite. In fact, this whole wall is going to be changing, but that's okay. So we got that. Cool. So I think what I want to do is I want to get some dark oak fence. Now, the problem I've got is that right along there, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to do some dark oak fence as sort of supports, right? Just sort of like holding up the roof kind of like what I've got going on over there. But I thought what I might do is instead of the fence posts, I would use the gates. Okay, I think the gates might look a, a little bit better. Yeah, <clears throat> just a touch. Yeah. 
I need to figure out something in here. I think maybe what I'll do is let's just take some of these slabs and yeah, I guess I'll just slab over like that. Yeah, that provides a solid roof on the inside. The outside here, it's all it's all solid and fine, but okay. Yeah, so that works. Okay, yeah, I said a, a couple of dark oak fences or some, or some things hanging around. I suppose what I could do, I was just looking at right here, this, this column. I could just do something along those lines here too. Actually, that might not be too bad. Let's try this. So let's take out these top blocks. Okay, I'm gonna run the brick across there. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice looking, uh, a nice look. In fact, I could even come in here like this and throw that there. I'd have to put some uh, slabs and stuff. I've got a whole bunch of uh, other things happening here, but all right, I've got blocks coming this way and going that way and all of the other ways, you know. Okay, right, so I can just, I can just sort of bring this this way. Now, I suppose I could just fill that whole thing in, but you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. All right. Now I will need to put in some roof or some, some form of ceiling up here. I don't think I want it to be green. I mean, the green is okay. It's just, I don't want it to be green. Right. I mean, that, that's a thing. Cause there is a lot of that. Running that all up across that way is sort of okay, I guess. Okay, so remember the guy who said he didn't want the the ceiling to be green? Okay. Um, that guy is has decided to wander off and do something else, and I'm going to be here for the next couple of minutes making the ceiling green. Okay. Just uh, for those of you wondering... You're playing the home game. It's like, wait a minute. He said he didn't want to make the, the roof green. But that was somebody else. And sadly, um, I've taken over for him. And his, his mind no longer exists. In its place is the mind of somebody who's making the roof this, this green. So, you know, uh, this is what happens. Your brain cells frequently go out to grab a soda. And just weird things happen. Okay, so that's all going to slide in like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and take this out. Okay, that might stay. I, I don't know. Now, the cool thing about this is I can just put overhead lights in this. And, and honestly, the more I'm looking at it, the less upset I am about it being green. Whoa. Okay. Um, being night, perhaps, is a problem. Being green? Nah, that's okay. I'm, I've, I have it on good authority you know, that it's not easy being green. Uh, but, you know, that was... Honestly, that was... Uh, that theory was posited by a frog many years ago and I, I i don't know if we can truly trust the word of a frog from from decades past i was on a kid's show right but so it should be okay right kids shows never lie you never get false information from a kid's show right all right so this is going to come out this now Let me put that back. But for now, that's okay. I'm going to have some glass happening here. I suppose what I could do 
is let's take some of this stone and andesite. Right now, again, this is going to be floor level. So I could, it would actually make some sense to run this up this way for the, um, for this happy little aquarium, right? Okay, so that's, no, no, take that back. I might put it in the ceiling, the, the stone there, take out some of this. But for now, I think that's okay. Okay, so we got this going here. Let's go and take out. Yeah, take out this dirt. Okay. Now, is that going to look a little funky? Yes. On the outside, it's going to look all sorts of weird. I will fix the outside in a moment. <laughs> for now, we got this. And I need to figure out what color the floor is going to be. Because that's just a little little silly. I mean, the, the grass inside is just a little silly. So, all right. So that's going to go that way. We've got some dark oak happening here. I think, do I want to put a little dark oak? Might be a good idea. Let's take a little bit of dark oak. Uh, if I put it there, though, it's going to shine through this way. I think that's not quite the way I want it. I mean, there's a little bit there, which is fine. It's the, it's the outside of the building, right? Okay, so let's grab a little bit of dirt here. There, see? No problem. Problem solved. Look, andesite, who cares? It's a hill. Looks natural. Okay. Okay, so we got all of that action happening. All right, so I'll need to come in here. Okay, so I'll need to come in here and get uh, the glass wall in for the aquarium. The, the mini glass walls for the aquarium. All right, so let's uh, let's get all this stuff in. Now, I'm kind of looking at this and th realizing that my inventory is a mess. And, you know, that's just, it is what it is. My inventory is a mess. You know, I, I, I would say I try to keep it clean, and I, I do sometimes, but really, I don't. So, you know, all right, so let's go ahead and just run some blocks around that way. Great. And let's see, probably across this way as well. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm not entirely sure of is really if I need need this to go down this far. I mean it it can, absolutely. I mean there's not it's not that big of a deal if it does. Okay. Actually it probably doesn't, because I'm gonna be filling in Oh, some sand and some other stuff right through here. Right now, again, this is floor level. I'll actually be standing at this level, looking at the, looking at that. This I was going to turn into coral. So I have to play with that first. That's going to be a, a fun little mess to do. Because basically, I have to hit this in two ways. I've got to get a, a wall of water one block back from this. And then I can come at it and fill in with coral and do all of that corally goodness. Except that is going to have to stay 
there. I guess maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. I'm thwarted by the outside, okay? Which happens. Also what happens is I tear things out and put them back and I do it in a way that doesn't look good. Okay, so let's put that in there. Let's get the that over that way. Let's bring a little bit of andesite in there. Okay. So we, now I can still do a coral wall maybe here, though that's outside. Right, that grass is outside. So maybe not. I could do it here. But maybe I'll just come in and have a nicely decorated tunnel here. Just call that a day. All right, cool. So I'm gonna need some glass, something that's gonna look good with this green. I need to come in with some pots and stuff. Now let's just throw some torches up there to keep things from being all scary. Not that anything can actually spawn on that area. It is dark, but nothing can spawn up there. Top of this one, that's a different story. Okay, and I need to get some looms so I can throw some empty shelves at a couple of places. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little something along the top there. All right. Well, since I've already decided that this roof is now green, let's do it. Okay. To definitely come in here and fix some things, but... All right, because I need to see what's happening out here. All right, because this is part of the roof out this way too, and I need, just need to, need to make sure that that's doing what it's supposed to. Okay. I think what I'll do is, yeah. Okay, so we'll take that out. And actually, let's... Take out some of this, but not all of it. I had, a, I had a thought. Okay. Now, I've already mentioned how dangerous thinking is. Uh, so, you got to be careful about that. Thinking is what gets your builds in trouble. You start thinking, and then your builds start getting all fancy, and they start looking good. And you got to avoid that. You know, so, you know, try without that whole thinking thing, right? All right, yeah, so this is where things get a little awkward because of the the roof and the fact that this building goes this way. All right. So let me get the roof in first, and then I'll worry about what's happening outside. I'll get the ceiling in first. Okay. All right, so we're good in here yeah yeah okay inside is fine let's see what's happening outside what did i just screw up okay so this is coming this way so i suppose what i could do first off is i could just dial back this hill a little bit I don't know, i'm not entirely sure i really want to but i could I could bring this over and up one more block, too. Okay, so I think, I think this is what I'm doing. Um, shoot. Yeah, man, this is... This is going to be awkward. Somebody with more landscaping skills than I have might have a better solution to this, but... Now, let's just take this out. So this is coming this way. Now, so that comes out like that. I suppose what I could do, I've got this really nasty cliff thing happening here. All right, now the, the good news is, other than it's like here, 
none of this is spawnable because it's all uh, slabs on the bottom side of the block. So I don't have to worry about that. You know what might look good? Is um, if I bring some leaves and some vines and stuff and just have, have them hang down over the side there. <clears throat> right? Just have some stuff sort of hangling vine-like over this. That might look good. Okay, just have it sort of hanging down. Okay. Yeah, okay, that that might work. The, I mean, it won't change the fact that there's this sea of uh, teal happening here. But all of that greenery will sort of hang down. Hmm. Now, the other option, which isn't a bad one either, perhaps, is to to really bring this dirt all the way over to the side of this building. But that's going to sort of mess this up. So I think that's not going to be the way to handle it. I suppose the other option, which might have been the better one, to be honest, oops, back here, is let's take this out. I'm still going to do the green roof, but what if I, I can make the ceiling back here a little bit lower. All right, so I can continue. Let's grab this, uh, grab all of this dirt. All right, and I can just go ahead and just bring this dirt in, put it back, you know, Okay, we'll just we'll just bring all of this dirt back. Take this out. All right. Coming to Yeah, right about there. Okay. Now, that actually probably should stay. That should stay. This dirt, on the other hand, will now come back this way. All right. No, maybe not there. All right, so that'll come out. That'll come out. And I'm just going to randomly place blocks in the wrong place because it's fun. Uh, you might have other ideas of fun, including putting blocks in the right place. Um, I, I kind of aspire to be you. Those of you who are in the, hey, blocks should go in the right place camp and you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm kind of in agreement with you and kind of think that, you know, we could get along okay. okay. Now, I still think maybe some greenery hanging down this way would look good. All right, now, inside here, things look a little little trash. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these slabs, and they're, they're going to come down a, le a level here. Okay, so they are going to slide. Okay, that's two levels. That's not right. But, okay, I'm still going to leave that blank, because I I still think I may I want to do something with this uh, this section right above the bookshelves. Okay. I don't know what yet, but I'm thinking something should go there. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could bring this down this way. I was contemplating using a different uh, material of some sort there, but I think that's good. Bring that that way. Okay. All right. And actually, I, I could even bring it in around the inside here just a little bit too, but we'll go with that. Now, what I was just thinking I might do 
is if I run some barrels all along the top here, right, then I can do all sorts of fun stuff, like, you know, put stuff in barrels. But it might, might be a good look to that. So let me go drop off a couple of things here so I've got some, some space. Craft up some barrels and just see what, what, uh, what we've got. Okay, so we'll drop all that stuff off. Um, some of that stone. Okay. All right, so let's grab some. No. All right, so barrels. Um, okay, so grab some spruce barrels. I guess I should have crafted up a couple of those. And I want to start, I want to see what they look like up here when you can only see half of them in this roof here, okay? Or kind of half of them. Okay, now see what's happening here when you, as I place them in? Basically, I'm now framing this bookshelf, right? You get this, uh, this whole stripe coming across this way, which actually might, might work. Um, Let's start there. And, uh, okay. Now what I could do is then place something fun in those corners. I can continue the barrels coming under that way. Right, and so I can do some, some stuff there, right? Don't know what, but something. Something could definitely go there. All right, and as I talked about, you know, what if I actually make this a an actual bookshop? You know, it could be could be fun. You know, if we could put a sign with the books up there. Something else. Okay, let's go get some more spruce and finish up those barrels, and then we'll see what else is going on. Okay, one of these has spruce. That one, turns out. All right, let's craft up a bunch of barrels. Not that they have to be made of spruce, mind you, but they are, so, you know, they are. Okay, so get that, Let's craft up a couple of barrels. What was it, eight, I think? Uh, no. Okay, well, there's six. And if I need more in there, I'll craft more. I'm almost certainly going to need more. Well, it's going to take out the rest of this floor, too, while I'm at it. Ooh, now that's an interesting thought. So, sorry, again, thinking. i got to stop doing that, because then I think, and I, I come up with other ideas, which are sometimes good, and that scares me, and, you know, because got to watch out for those good ideas. They, uh, they'll get you. Okay, so... So here's kind of what I was thinking. All right, so let me finish getting these barrels in. That's not a barrel. Kind of looks like one, but isn't. Okay. Now, I do still need to put some stuff in the corners and things like that. But for now, let's go ahead and just throw some torches up. Yeah, torch spam for the win. Okay. Um, so I was talking about having the staircase down here. What if instead I put the staircase here? Because I, I do need to I do need a level change, right? I do need to come down here. So what if I bring the stairs down into the the bookstore here? Right? That 
that would be an interesting approach to this problem. Okay, let's just go ahead and move this, uh, move this back this way. Okay, right, and just, I could just put the stairs down here to whatever floor is happening this way. Yeah, that's, that's an idea. And then all of this is, it is what it is. It's up here and it's, you know, fine and lovely. In fact, I could even move these bookshelves over. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's a thing. Or I could even maybe just leave them half I, instead of, right? So I could come in, let's say, all right, I'm not going to do it with, with green, but right, I could put in slabs down here. Right, and then, sure, that's still, those are still half barrels and stuff. Uh, but I think that would look better. Yeah, and then I could still have it drop down to this level back there. Okay. That's fine. And, it, and if I use the right material here, Oh, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, so. All right, so for those of you out there who are still paying attention in chat land, uh, what do you think I should use for the floor? I'm kind of liking a lighter color. Right, I've got a lot of dark, you know, some, you know, dark materials happening in places. Uh got the wood this despite being sort of a brighter color it is a little bit darker so i want something that's going to light up this room a little bit more so i could just come in with birch which isn't a bad thing right the birch could be good all right yeah so i can do something here but that would be enough barrels Yeah, that would be enough barrels that I could just leave all sorts of stuff out. So if I wanted to do um, some other books or some other things, I could absolutely do that. Okay. Okay, so that can go that way. Let's take this out. Uh, what do I have? Do I have andesite? I do not, which is okay. It's not a problem. Um... I want to put something else in those corners. I don't know what, uh, but a little something else would be good. Okay, so go ahead and fill that up. Yeah. So I kind of like that. So with whatever slabs I come in here with, come up to blocks up on this side. And just run that out to to here. So you just have this little step down, which actually I might put on this row. All right, have this little step down. <clears throat> All right. Um, do I want to do more barrels here? I have a little bit of trouble up top, but that's okay. Um, Maybe not. I um, or maybe I'll just put some down here on the bottom. Or actually, maybe better yet, I could set up a uh, a little couch down here. Yeah, right. I'm mean, because it's it's a reading nook, right? Okay, so though. Yeah, honestly, I don't know what to, what to do here. Let's try... Let's take these out for a minute. Take out the corners. Oh, we be decorating now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, this is dark. Oh, no, that's spruce. Okay. Spruce is okay. 
yeah, I mean, that's not bad. I mean, I could try peeling it, but I don't think the stripped oak or the stripped uh, spruce is going to look that much different, at least, especially on the ends. It will trim down that, though. Turns it a really ugly shade of brown, though. Hmm. Might be better off doing that with oak, but... Okay, so we'll, we'll take that for now. So what to do for the floor? I was thinking of doing, I said birch, stripped birch logs for the floor. Something, something sort of along the lines of, of this, just with birch, not spruce. See, today I know the difference. But I, I don't know, right? I think just the gray walls got this going. Of course, having it be a little bit dark is okay. So I, I have to do something I can slab. Gray's not going to be good. I don't think... I was about to say, I don't think granite would, would do it. But honestly, the granite... Provides an interesting contrast with the ceiling. All right now, I could use the warped, or not the warped, the crimson wood, uh, but I think the crimson wood would be a little too dark. But if I take the granite and maybe mix in some polished and some plain, just uh, slab all that and go with it, that might. That actually might look really good. Okay. So let me go ahead and drop off a bunch of this stuff that I'm not going to need right now. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Drop all this stuff off. And let's see if I can come up with something here that might look reasonably okay. Drop off the dark oak for now. All right, so I've got some polished, got some unpolished. All right, so let's come in here and play with this. I could also do some brick. Uh, okay, but we'll see. So let's start. Okay, by just. Just throwing a little bit of this around. Now, I could come in with a few other things, but for now, we'll go with this. All right, so, yeah, so I'm kind of thinking that this level becomes the, yeah. All right, so now if I come in here with some, just, oops, not that way. No, 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 that that would be the way that it's not. Yes, I, I recognize not. All right, let's just. All right, so that, basically I just was sort of spamming the stuff all over. Now, the good news is that I can come in here. Now I could come in here, drop some brick, um, some terracotta, wouldn't work real well back here, but Oops. okay. It's not too bad. I think I want to change up a couple of these just because I think it's a little bit too uh, a little bit too stripy. But that's not too bad. So some random things coming down, and then I've got whatever floor is going this way. All right. Cool, so now let's get out here with the shovel. I'm gonna have to go, obviously go get a, a lot more stuff, but let's come out here with the shovel. Okay, now all of this is gonna come up at that level. So. Okay, right, so this is, this is all gonna come in this way. 
Now, where things are going to get a little awkward here is dealing with uh, this gap and what comes underneath these andesite things. Okay, so for now, let's just... We'll just drop a few torches here. We're doing on time. Time is good. For those of you who are somewhat questioning, is time good? Yes. Yes, time is good. All right. So let's grab some of this. Now, stone cutters are awesome. So let's go ahead and turn that into slabs. Take about half of this into polished and about half of it into unpolished okay great all right so it's going to take this out so we're going to run some of this just right around here so i'm just going to start with the the randomness kind of out this way Just give it a little bit of pseudo randomness, right? For those of you who are uh, into computers, you know, this is where your pseudo random number generator would come in, right? To have numbers that look random but aren't. Okay, so just, I'm just going to, oops, that's not there. Yeah, so I'm just going to sort of throw some things around. It's, uh, right, how it all is going to look, it's hard to say. This is going to bring in some more of the, of the unpolished there, though. All right, so we'll just bring in some of this just and around this way. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, this is kind of looking okay. All right? Yeah, let's get some torches back in here. All right, so now... Night is falling again. You know, it keeps doing that. Do I... I don't think I... Yeah. Oops, that's dirt. Not at all the uh, material I was going for there. All right. Let's gra grab a quick nap. Okay. Because naps are good. Right? Big fan. Big fan of the naps. All right. I went around. I didn't need to, but I did. So, you know, whatever. All right, so we come in here. Yeah, I think this is, this actually this is gonna look good. I know, I'm sh just as shocked as the rest of you. But, uh, all right, so. Need to figure out some glass and some other things, but I think what I wanna do here, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring this out this way. Okay, just a. Okay, so this sort of comes out this way a little bit, just for. Which will be great because I'm going to do the the sort of. Red red brick and. Gra granite uh, path coming out this way, so. Coming up between these buildings. So that'll be good. I also think I want to get some. Uh, hang some light out here on the side, something along those lines, just to just to light this area up a little bit. Yeah, and I need to figure out what color all of that's going to be. But short answer is I don't know. It's, it's going to be a color. That I'm fairly confident. I'm I'm almost confident no, not even almost. I'm I'm 100% confident whatever door I put in here is going to have a color. Yeah, I mean, it's just, that is what it is. I mean, we try different things, but I'm, I'm, it's going to have a color of some sort. 
All right, and then I need to figure out this counter as well. Okay, and no, get back here and replace this. Uh, just with a little bit more, little bit more granite. Okay. Okay, so this is looking good. I, I don't know what glass I'm gonna put in here. I mean, it, clear, I mean, it's gonna be blue because there's lots of water that's gonna be coming down here. So, so a little, so blue glass might be okay. Clear glass would be fine. Um, a little light gray glass might actually be best as it uh, runs across there. I could do light, light gray glass. Okay, so anyway, what to do with this counter? Um, obviously it's not gonna be granite. Uh, I could just do spruce, that'd be okay. Um, All right, let let me get my uh, before I put that in. Let's get these uh, tables back in place, right where they where they were, so that I have again an idea of where I'm going to be placing some things. Okay, this is so it'll be a nice, comfy place to hang out. Well, I can I could easily just drop sea lanterns here in the ceiling. All right, for some, some overhead lights. It's a little bit tougher here because of the slabs, but I can still make something work. Okay. All right, actually, I kind of like the idea of these being in spruce. Um, okay, so what if I were to do... All right, so let's take these out put some floor in underneath them but okay because I just left the dirt there and that's not quite how I want that to go okay so we'll just get some all right so we'll get that in there so I could just bring sort of spruce along this way um, yeah close close let's go ahead and put that in there actually i kind of like that with the just with the blocks nothing too nothing too crazy uh put a few things in the back kind of like the idea what's back behind this ah okay that would be a problem okay so all right so, because I was thinking it might be kind of fun to put a little pizza oven there. But now I'll just put in a, uh, let's put in a couple of things here. I'll just put in a, uh, put in a smoker. Uh, I'll put a, you know, a brewing stand here, right? It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll look, it'll be all sorts of fine. Um, let's get, let's move this just so it's out of the way while I'm, I'm just going to put it, whoops, that's, uh, not quite the right thing. Okay. There, it's floating, so it's obviously wrong. All right, so. Okay, now I'm in the aquarium and it's, okay. Yeah, see, this was throwing me off because I had the crafting table here. And it just sort of blended in. So maybe what I want to do, what if I just put books there? No. No. At least not uh, not that way. Whoa. Let's put that back. I mean, actually, having some books, like having that shelf there, if it weren't the fact that for the fact that this was oak. And I could make this a note counter, I suppose, instead of spruce. 
I mean, that's an idea. But the uh, the rest of this is all, yeah. Because I could just come in here, drop this trap door on it. But I, I don't particularly like that. You know, I mean, it's just one of those, it's one of those things. Kind of like the idea of, I could, I could kind of trim this, put it back up a block, perhaps. You know, hang a light down there. Uh, you know, this is sort of the, right, the buy the register. Oh, well, discount books, right, those types of things. Okay, so we get those in. I need some actual tables and chairs. And I think what I'll do is I'm, I'll do something similar to what I did up here in the Bouncy Llama. Is I'll do carpet over end rods. Okay, for the for the seats. Okay, I think that'll make some. I think that'll work. And then I have to figure out what's happening in the aquarium. Actually, I should probably figure that out first, since I'm going to be probably pouring water all over everything. <sighs> okay, do I have ice? I don't think I have ice. Not here, anyway. Okay, I do... I don't have a lot of kelp with me. I've got a lot cooking. Uh, or at least potentially cooking All right I've got the I've got the kelp farm sort of growing out here it's actually far enough away it probably isn't doing a whole lot um, yeah it's not a whole lot it's basically all it does is provide hopefully a little bit of kelp on an automated basis so that I don't have to worry about it a little slower, perhaps, in doing it by hand with this small of a farm. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And I can make this a little bigger. I, I'm pushing this one all the way to the top. I don't have to. I could, yep, yeah, see? Pops up a couple. And there they go. Right, so I could, I could actually, you know, have that flow over this way at this level and I can do a couple of layers of kelp farm if I really wanted to but it's okay it's all right anyway the whole point of that digression was that I have some kelp which I'm going to need to still all of the water so let's get out here and just, just grab a little bit of plain kelp that's probably more than enough Right, sure. Um, maybe. Where's all the kelp? Jeez. I, I'm pretty sure I popped up more than five. Okay, oh, there it is. It just floated way over here. Alright, cool. Alright, so I got it. Great. Let's get out of the out of this water that's gonna eat me. It's the problem with having a being in a in an ocean where the drowned can pop up and then try to eat you because they will then try to eat you and that's a bad thing. I, I don't like being eaten by by zombies or drowned or anything like that. So, all right. So here's the next next bit of fun is oh, I need to fill this with with dirt and stuff. And all that goodness. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll get this. I'll fill the first layer with water. I need to get the glass in, which I said I was going to do light gray, which I'll fill in most of it. I'll get the... Actually, if I fill it, do ground at that level. Basically, where this torch is, that level. Make that the ground level of the aquarium. So yeah, so you're looking down at, at some of the stuff and it's 
you know, the fish might be there, they might be up there, whatever. It's, it's all good. All right, so then I can get all of that in place. Yeah, get the glass blocks in, fill all of that in with, you know, sand and stuff. Water will go at this level. And I could decorate this with all of the fun stuff, right? I can put, you know, it's an aquarium, so all of the coral, all of that good stuff. And then I can deal with a couple of tropical fish that I might, I've got the levels. I go grab some spawn tokens and get, uh, get Amanda to spawn in a, just a two or three tropical fish. Should be good. Okay, so I'm gonna need some light gray glass. Okay, that's an interesting problem. Do I have light gray glass? Glass blocks. I have. I do have. Awesome. Okay, cool. And that actually looks like it's pretty close to being enough, too, for that matter. All right, so let's get over here and well, maybe I'll do it from outside. Yeah, let's get this stuff in place here. Oh yeah, that's gonna look great. So maybe not leave a hole, I don't want it to come pouring out, but that's, yeah, that'll look just peachy. All right. Okay, so let's go and get, get this in on this side. Okay, all right, so, so that'll be good. It's it's a little hazy. It's sort of the idea this isn't, I don't want it to be like, feel dingy, but it's a, uh, it does sort of add to that feel of, oh, hey, this is, this is what it is. Now, and what it is is sort of a uh, nice old, sort of, you know, it's an old bookseller. I, and that's fine. Oh, right. Okay, that one's a problem. Actually, I've got lots of problems because I have no inventory space to deal with all of this wood I'm picking up. Okay, let's go drop off uh, probably, probably the dirt for now. Okay. Okay, so let's grab this. Okay, so that's not... I was thinking of, of putting some stone there, but I can't really, so... So I was kind of thinking, you know, floor to ceiling, but now that I'm looking at the rest of this, that's not the way to do it. I mean, it is, it is gonna be floor to ceiling, but I'm going to go ahead and put this line of stuff here. So do I have some andesite? I don't think so. Okay, so go ahead and put that in there. I should I should get a little bit of andesite just to just to messy that up a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's swing back through here. And yeah, I just want to messy this up just a touch. Um, okay, just to give it a little bit of... Like I said, it's... I want this to feel sort of lived in. Um, I want to give it a little bit of, hey, this is sort of an older... an older establishment. Take that one out. All right, so now, cool. So I need to leave some of this uh, open so I can get into that, which is absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, so that'll work. So I need to fill in, take out a lot of this, well, a lot of the stuff needs to get taken out. And then fill in water all around here okay so it's it's there 
then I can start doing some other things. Right, but the the weird part is just making all of this, you know, stable. I think what I'll do is I'll grab a, a door, just a temporary door to uh, to put in, just so I can get in. I can fill this with water, make it all, you know, source blocks, right? I'll get the kelp. It'll grow up and make it all source blocks. And that way I can get in and out, uh, let the water do its thing, you know, all that good stuff. So, cool. So let's get a door that work. Um, okay. So there's not enough water there. That'll be helpful. All right. So, so we'll just slap this door in right there. That's going to slide down like that. And I'm I'm going to need one more block <laughs> after I replace this door. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. Cool. So basically, I want to come in here with some dirt and stone and andesite and stuff. Fill that all in. All right. Well, this is... This is going to be fun. I think what I'm going to do, just given the time, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'll fill this in and off camera, I'll get this filled with water, get the kelp growing in there and just uh, so that I can get that part done, not have to worry about the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, the rest of this is going to be, is looking pretty good. I do need to get some some seating in. I do need to get a front door in, uh, which I I think I'm gonna go ahead with a uh, a spruce or a dark oak door. I haven't fully decided. It's gonna be one of those. Oh, and I need to get actually some gray glass running across here too. So I guess I'll go get some more gray glass. Oh, I want to do these panes though. These ones are going to be panes. Uh, if the glass will bond out here, I'll I'll do uh, panes right up that way. Otherwise, I'll do blocks sort of inside it. But okay, I think that'll be good. So things are looking things are looking good. So I'll have the the aquarium here, with all the little fishies, and uh, yeah, in this nice little cafe you know bookstore i need to get in and do some some more decorating um uh, some potted plants um you know some some lights you now given i'll be doing end rods and carpet there'll be a lot of light around here at least back here i'll need to to uh do some light but i think i might you know deal with some hanging stuff you know i don't know Something's kind of along those lines. Yeah, this is this is gonna be good. I yeah, I, I sort of feel like I need to do a little bit of something here. Maybe I'll just get a couple of barrels and line up right th right through there. I don't want to do it at the top though, so I've got some things to do, but. I'll do the water stuff off camera, uh, but the rest of this is looking pretty, pretty good. I like the way this is turning out. Um, oh, right. Yeah, filling with some glass there. Now, what I, what I might do here is take some, take a little something, add some, some shutters here, perhaps. Most of these windows though or they're big windows like it's this big bay window or it's this window into the aquarium so probably that's just not going to be the deal but uh shutters are sort of the wrong approach but oh that just that's gonna look cool it already looks cool looking out at the bank get all that oh yep i like it i like where this is going so 
Sweet. All right, so I'll do this off camera. Let's uh, go and switch over. Oh man, it's it's been fun though. Oh man, big stretch. It's been all sorts of fun. So definitely wanted to uh, thank all of you for joining me and participating and watching and lurking and all of those good things because y'all are awesome and amazing. Also, shout out to our new follower here, Dinosaur. You're awesome. And yeah, oh, and of course my Patreon. You can follow me at and subscribe at patreon.com slash musicfreegaming for exclusive access to you know, exclusive blog posts, Discord channel, all sorts of good stuff there. So be sure to uh, check that action out. And of course, you can follow me on the socials, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at Music Free Gaming, all that good stuff. TikTok, you know, all, all the places. All right. So let's go see real quick if there's anyone around to raid. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's, let's see. Of course, yeah. I mean, there are a whole lot of us, but we can definitely take a look. Go uh, see what's going on. Um, let's see. What's uh, what Sassy's up to? Sassy Rogue is is a fun uh, Minecrafter. Let's go see what she's doing. Um, Ah, yeah, building over there. Okay, cool. So we'll go. We'll go raid Sassy Rogue. Um, not a lot of us, but you know, we'll go share the love. It'll be great. Um, and you know, it's it's been it's been a lot of fun uh, streaming with all of you today. And I'll see. Of course, next stream is Tuesday, six p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Uh, and Thursday, 6 p.m. There's the schedule down there. So you should check that out. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.